All right, gonna change things up here a little bit. Beautiful day, a little windy, a little cool. Got a jacket on, but the ocean looks good. It's low tide, we'll see what happens. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is the afternoon, it's low tide. I'm gonna switch things up a little bit today. I came out here earlier and that bait was on the beach, but it was fry. It was like small, tiny little fish. So I'm gonna go to a much smaller crocodile. It's low tide, so that's a good time for halibut. And I'm gonna focus in an area where the water's a little bit deeper on the low and see if we can't come up with a halibut or two. So let's get to it. So when you're fishing the crocodile, you wanna wait for the wave to break like you can see this going on right now and there's kind of a mess there's a bunch of sets coming in here all together so you're gonna wait for that final one now make your cast now is when you want to make your cast out there in the calm water and then come back in between sets if you cast now and you end up in front of that breaking wave your lure is just gonna get blown into the beach now you make another cast and you're in that calm water in between the sets that's the way to get a bite here comes the pelican patrol got to keep my eyes on these guys i have seen some bait in the surf right up here tight we'll see if these guys are going to get on some bait and i'll be right behind them one thing that is really important is to keep moving you want to cover ground make sure you're doing that and as far as your retrieve on one of these crocodile or cast master type lures vary it slow it down especially in the winter time sometimes you want to slow it down speed it up many times as a wave breaks like right there and if i'm right in front of it i'll speed it up trying to mimic a bait that is scared by the breaking wave so just play with it experiment and finally find the right speed to catch some more fish and finally, after covering a lot of beach, making a lot of cast, a halibut in the surf. Little guy here, and you can see that crocodile in its mouth. Not a big fish, but still a lot of fun. Put up a pretty fierce battle for the size of the fish it was. California halibut have to be 22 inches in length, so this one's going back. And as you can see, with that big old tail of his, he sped back out to sea unharmed ready to fight another day. Man, I was heading off the beach till I saw these guys one last time. I'm gonna keep my eyes on them. If they get on some bait, I might have to prolong my journey today. So what are the takeaways from today? Not a wide open day, one short halibut is not going to make any history books in sport fishing here in Southern California. But it was a glorious day, a beautiful weather. The water feels a little bit warmer. Downsizing that lure, I think, made a difference. Watching what is in the ocean's environment, and I saw all this small fry swimming in the surf, and then downsizing the crocodile, I think, made a difference. Covering ground, very, very important. The fact that halibut do bite on low tide, that still is a good time to fish for them. And that things continue to progress here in Southern California not setting the world on fire but headed in the right direction coming out of winter moving into spring that's when the fish will start to bite these kinds of lures even more and of course we'll be fishing lures and bait and experimenting and taking you along for a fun surf fishing season not only here in southern california but in march april i'll be down in baja showing you some great fishing down south also all right, for Friedman Adventures, Phil Friedman here on a beach in Southern California. Hope you can get out soon. <laughs>